Hey girlfriends, it's Gabrielle Eichel and I'm very excited for today's video because today I will finally be unboxing and reviewing, trying out, reviewing for the very first time my Dyson Supersonic hair blow dryer. So if you're interested in that, keep on watching. <laughs> I got this as a gift from my brother and sister-in-law for my 30th birthday. If you're interested in seeing what else I bought, go ahead and check that video out. I will leave a link in the cards above and in the description box below. So let's go ahead and open it. So exciting. Okay, so First off, let's just look at it. It has one, two, three, four, five different attachments here. This is the actual blow drying tool. On the back, it just says fast drying, no extreme heat, engineered for different hair types, negative ions, LED indicators, acoustically tuned, powerful motor is tuned to produce one inaudible frequency. That's cool. Removable filter for easy cleaning. So yeah, let's go ahead and open this. Here is the Dyson Supersonic Hair Blow Dryer. It's so pretty. It's actually really light too. It comes with a box like this. It has the rest of the cord, the little electric sign here. This is what it looks like. We have the reset and the test buttons like you normally do on a, any blow dryer. So this one does not come with the case. I think only the Royal Blue Limited Edition one does. It's a very pretty case, by the way. So I'm going to see if I could buy a case separately so that I can store this properly. I don't want to mess up a $400 tool here. So there's five different adapters here. We'll just go through all of them. I'll show you all of them but I'll be using the first one here, the comb. This one is a styling concentrator. It is wider and thinner for a more precise styling. The fusers are used to define curls and reduce frizz. And then this last little box has the final three adapters and a user manual. This is the flyaway attachment. It looks sort of like a vacuum cleaner attachment. It is for a smooth finish. It attracts longer hairs and hides flyaways using the Koanda effect, which I'm thinking is this piece here. And we have the gentle air attachment. It's for a cooler, gentle drying for fine hair and delicate scalps. So I probably won't be using this because my hair is nowhere near fine. It's thick. And then finally, we have the wide tooth comb. It's not really wide. When I think of wide tooth comb, I think of this. But it is a comb. It helps shape and lengthen curly and coily hair as it dries. So this is what I will be using. It usually takes about an hour or so, or not an hour or so, an hour and a half, probably minimum, to blow dry my hair. So we're going to see how quick this blow dries my hair because it says fast drying and it's supposed to be healthier than a normal blow dryer. All right, let's plug this baby in and let's see this because it's supposed to be a magnet and it says keep away from things like pacemakers and defibrillators because it can be affected by strong man magnetic fields. And then it says also can affect credit cards and electronic storage media. So keep this away from all my YouTube equipment basically because I would be so pissed if my external hard drive was deleted. Everything on there was deleted because of this thing. Anyways, let's go ahead and attach it. Cool. Gonna turn like that. And this is what it looks like. So cool. And so on the back here, you see there's the heat setting and the speed. There's three little dots on each side. 
and then this is the on and off and then this is the cold shot button so i think for the most part hair dryers are pretty straightforward to use so i'm not going to look at the manual right now i use the as i am leave-in conditioner the classic and I'm going to go in with this Blue Tansy Treatment Serum. It strengthens and repairs, it's silicone free. And this is by Agile Beauty. This Blue Tansy line is supposed to be a thermal protectant line. I got three of the products in this line. And if you're interested in seeing my huge haul that I got for Black Friday, I'll leave a link up in the cards above and also in the description box below. You can see everything that I got for Black Friday. But this is one of them. I've used this before and you only need a little bit. It says just a squirt, apply evenly through wet, damp, or dry hair. And we'll just go ahead and do it. So what had happened was my memory was done on my phone and it stopped recording. So I didn't get me blow drying the first little section of my hair. So all of my initial reactions and things like that are gone. I can already see with the piece that I did here that it's gonna be a lot quicker than the normal drying time, so I'm excited about that. It's 9.01 p.m. I'm going to set the stopwatch and start. So I'll turn it on. Sounds so cool. See this little section here that I did? I think it did a really good job. So we'll go ahead and continue. That was less than an hour to blow dry my whole head. And as you can see, I have some straggly in, so I'm about to trim it. Um, I did pause the timer when I took breaks. I got phone calls, so I had to pause it because obviously I couldn't blow dry my hair and talk to somebody at the same time. So it wasn't like an actual hour. Like it's not, what time did I start? Nine, nine o'clock? It's not 10 o'clock right now. So I got a lot of hair guys. <laughs> so I went ahead and trimmed the ends and they look a lot better than they did before. I just wanted to come on quickly and give a final review of my new Dyson Supersonic hair dryer. Let me show it to you guys again. It is very lightweight. My arms did not get tired until the very end and it's just because I have a lot of hair. My hair is thick, y'all. Y'all see this? This is the thick hair, bruh. Oh, it's a workout every single time. But this is very lightweight and it's very easy to use. Like I said before, there's three settings here uh, for heat and for the speed. One thing to note, when I first turned it on, it was on the highest heat setting and the highest, highest speed setting. I turned both down to one and I ended up turning the speed up to two to get like the, the right mix for my, me because it was hot. The, this heat in here is hot, it's legit. So I wonder what it means or what they mean by saying that it's a little bit safer than a regular blow dryer because this felt like a little bit hotter than a regular blow dryer, honestly. Um, but it did get my hair dry quicker than a regular blow dryer. I did it in less than an hour. Usually it takes over an hour and a half, sometimes two hours to blow dry my hair. So this really did help cut down the time. 
very easy to use like i said very lightweight oh i don't know what this is for maybe i should <laughs> read the instructions so down here um there is a circle here one is filled in and one is not it was set to this one i'm not exactly sure what that means but i'll have to read the manual to figure out what the other one means this type of attachment is what i normally use whenever i blow dry my hair i didn't feel it snagging sometimes the plastic attachments snag on your hair i didn't feel that at all it went through my hair easily if it was properly tangled because some pieces in the back i did not thoroughly detangle prior to using this there's a lot of signs on here that say warning make sure you uh, don't drop this into water or a tub and there's a sign that says do not remove this tag warn children of the risk of death by electric shock so you want to make sure that when you're using a blow dryer that you keep this away from water i do have it by my sink but the sink i did not use it i have two sinks in my bathroom so if i needed the sink i would go to the other side to use it and it also warns you to unplug this when you're done the attachments are all magnetic so they warn you to keep these away from defibrillators or pacemakers because they will interrupt that obviously no one knows their product better than dyson so you want to just follow these instructions i i i liked it now i do want to come back and do a review of this dyson supersonic versus the 400 dollars rev air that i bought just to give my opinion of which one i think is better if you guys don't know i'm on sephora's website right now at sephora it costs 429 dollars mm. I'm sure you can use like your rewards points towards this, but that's a lot of money for a, a blow dryer when they usually cost them like $60. Is it worth $429? I think if you have $400 sitting around, just waiting to be spent, I think you, can go, you should go ahead and splurge on the Dyson Supersonic because there were pros to using this over a regular blow dryer. However, if you're on a budget and you don't have $400 sitting around, because who does, <laughs> you know? Uh, maybe this wouldn't be a great thing for you. So don't go around saying, I told you to get it because I didn't. I think if you have extra money, you got your tax return, ooh, spending on this. But there are other ways to achieve a really nice blow up. So all in all, I do really like this blow dryer. I would definitely be using it again. And I think for me, it is worth it because I like doing my own hair. I like blow drying it. I like doing my own protective styles. This will be handy in the future and I'm so excited about that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see anything else from me in the future. If you want to see me use a different attachment in a video, let me know. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I post. And share this video out to all your friends, natural hair friends, even relaxed friends who are interested in the Dyson because y'all, my brother and sister-in-law came through, bruh, because I wasn't about to get this on my own. I just bought the $400 Revair. So I'm really thankful to them for getting me this. It was really cool to use. And like you see, my hair looks good. It looks very thick. Th 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 thick. <laughs> Yeah, so if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. And thank you again for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.